Hello ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're back on War Thunder today and we're taking out the Matilda. Now the thing about this tank is it's the first heavy tank that you unlock is in the British tech tree so far. I mean they might add tanks in the next patch to the British tech tree but I'm not too sure about it yet. But this tank's pretty interesting and um, it's pretty, it's got very good frontal armor. It's like 65 to 70 millimeters of frontal armor all over. The turret is pretty much 65 millimeters all the way around. I mean, that's rare in a tank for the tank turret to have the same armor all the way around. So it's pretty strong. It absorbs a lot of hard hits and takes them like a champ. So we're gonna see what we can do with it today. See these little pockets in the side of it? I don't know if they're like made for like bullet traps or like, or, I don't know, tank round traps. You know, the bullet hits and gets directed upwards into the armor and doesn't really do much, but I'm not too sure what they're made for. If anybody knows, I mean, feel free to comment what they're for. But I'm not too sure what they're made for. It's got all this good side armor on it. I mean, this, this tank's pretty heavily armored. Now, it weighs in at like, I think it's like 27 tons around there. And that's the reason why it travels so slow. I mean, this is a slow tank. But we're going to see what we can do. Last match I played in it, pretty much got raped because it was up tiered match. Sometimes that happens, can't help it. This tank, this match looks like it's going to be pretty decent. We got some stugs. Let's try to help this dude out. I feel bad for him. But I have a speech impediment, as some of y'all are wondering about the reason why I get confused about my words sometimes. But that's what it is. And I just get confused a lot of times. Let's see, I gotta concentrate, so hold on guys. See if we can get him out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Pull him out. Maybe we should try pulling him forward. I don't know. Maybe this other dude will help me. Come on, dude. Why are you going to shoot him like that? It's so difficult. Come on, dude. Help me pull him. Why? Why do you have to be looking at him? It, it makes no sense, like, I'm not going to be able to get in a situation where I can actually do anything because I have to be looking at him. I, I don't get this, but we're going to keep trying to see what we can do. Make this video a little longer than normal, at least. That would just tell this dude sorry. Just leave me. Drive forward, drive forward. Come on, dude. Drive forward. Just J out. That's what he's going to have to do. I'm going to try to get at a forward position and pull him. He j out. Alright, let's try to go down through here. Let's try not to make the same mistake he did. See people up there already. We can deal with them though. This thing is a trench beast. It's long hole pretty much. Makes it go over trench trenches pretty smooth. Alright, here we go. First contact. It's way off in the distance. We're gonna try to push up a little bit more. I'm in a bad position right here. Alright, we're pushing across. Come 
leave no sign and signpost or light post alive. <laughs> okay, where'd you go, little buddy? This is really exposing myself. I don't like this. But I'm gonna have to cross this bridge down this way. Okay, I'm pretty clear so far. This dude over here might already be dead. He is good for us. We can push on into their cap. This thing gets glitched on bridges sometimes. Enemies capturing A. I'm pushing the bridge. I'm going to try to cut the reinforcements off at the spawn. I don't think nobody knows I'm here yet. How did he get back capped on that dude? Oh well. This dude right in here got back capped on him some miraculous way how. Okay, just keep pushing. Looking clear. I'm in trenches. This thing kind of reminds me of those World War One style tanks. The first tanks ever invented using tractors and stuff. The, the kind of sloped armor on it. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Not the sloped armor, but the, the way the tracks are set up on it. And the way the side of it looks. I wonder if they ever put French tanks in here. There goes that M2A4 that we seen earlier. Try to get behind him. Destroy him. See a lot of enemies off on the hill over there. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking good. Pushing down. That dude's way off over there. Here we go, here we go. Took his engine out. He's dead in the water. Finished him off. There we go, we finished him off. Should I push one more road over, catch the reinforcements coming in? I should have called that bomber in. Oh well. I'm gonna push right over in here and see what we can see. Got some people right over there. Just got a text message. Okay, here we go, here we go. Set up. That shot sucked. There we go. Killed somebody. Here we go, killed some more people. Killed him. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Oh crap. That was a sucky shot. Valentine, you're about to get murdered. I'm tired of looking at you. What is the deal with these shots? Well, I don't have the my crew upgraded right, so that's probably why. Okay, let's get back on this guy. Come on, expose yourself. There we go, that was a good shot, actually. I just bounced that shot, too, by the way. Marauder, you just screwed up, buddy. Set him on fire, his engine's dead. Let's hit his ammo. Can we hit his ammo? There's some of his ammo. We didn't blow it up, though. There we go, he's dead. Panzer, you're really starting to piss me off. That's why you gotta die right now. What we are to do is call an airplane and finish him. Stug, bouncing shots from a stug. Okay, we gotta go for that stug and the Panzer. Where are we at? Oh, we actually won this one. That's pretty good. Drop all the bombs. Alright guys, let me show you the guys the frontal armor on this thing and just how it's set up since we kind of finished that early. 
Okay, I got my fire extinguishers. Let's go for the tracks. Here's the frontal armor on this thing. Red all over pretty much. 75 millimeters, 75 millimeters, 78 millimeters. You're not going to pin the front. This is 95 millimeters with the slope, which is going to make it downright impossible to pin unless you're shooting at an angle of it on a hill or something like right here, which shoots straight through at that armor. But this turret, 75 millimeters all the way around. You got these little armor plates here, 20 millimeters of thickness on top of this main armor. I don't think, no, it doesn't count. 25, 20, and here's the little pocket I was talking to you guys about. It's like a little trap for the rounds to hit at. It's pretty pretty interesting. I mean, you got this side armor, which is pretty thick. The thing is, I don't know if there's armor inside of this. Yes, there is. Right there. 40 millimeters on top of 25 and 20 in places and 13 in places, which is pretty good. Now, if they get a lucky pin through these pockets, there's a chance they could hit the ammo, which... In tanks like this, I don't expose my sides because that's a big no-no in tank warfare. You take it straight on or angle it at a diamond angle towards them like this. Just have them shooting at you from this way because at that angle, the way the armor is slanted, it's thick. It's at its thickest. 91 millimeters, 80 millimeters. I mean, even this plate right here, 57 millimeters at that slope at the angle that you're sitting at towards them if they're shooting at you from this way. Sort of a little bit of tank warfare tips to help you survive on War Thunder if you need help with that. But alright guys, thank you again. Please subscribe if you like my videos. I'm going to try to keep more videos coming out and try unlocking. I really want to get down to the 3 inch gun carrier and the church heels. I'm working on the Cromwell now. The Cromwell is pretty awesome of a tank. That QF 75 millimeter cannon that's on it. That one should be pretty good too. And these Churchills should be pretty good. So we're going to try to get down to those and unlock them. See what we can do. Here's the backwards tank. It's actually backwards. I mean, the driver is literally right here. It drives backwards. But that's good because you got all that soaking up shots and you won't lose crew as much. You have to shoot for here, which would be pretty easy to pin to be honest with you <laughs> but anyhow that's it for today thank you for watching my videos thank you for liking please subscribe and i'm gonna try to have more videos out thank you